pan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little bit more personal and just talk to you guys about something that I haven't really touched base on. I've talked about it on my Instagram, which you guys can follow me right here at hey Jess. At hey Jess. Basically today I wanted to talk to you guys about how seeing a therapist has changed my life and is going to continue changing my life. If you guys haven't uh, known about this or anything, I started seeing a therapist in late August. I'm going to say like August 29th or something was when I first initially went to my very first therapist appointment for all of the intake and I saw an intake specialist and basically got assigned a therapist from that day forward. The reason I originally set up a therapist appointment was because a couple weeks prior, or I wanna say like a month prior, I had broken up with the person I was dating at the time. I didn't feel, I guess, like it was the right decision for me and I just kept doubting um, the relationship and just it was just a bunch of negative intrusive thoughts constantly. So ever since we had started dating, I had just had these feelings on and off on and off it was always constantly there this feeling of like doubt and like anguish and uh it truly never went away it would just kind of get covered by all this happiness and love um so i was kind of done with just fighting within my mind and i had people to talk to i had my family and all that but it didn't really matter none of those conversations that i had with my friends or friends or family did anything for me in the way where it kind of helped me make a decision for myself and that's not what therapists do they don't help you really like they don't make you make decisions but talking to them and them giving you solutions for the problems that you have within your brain or within your mind helps you make the decisions that you you need to make i was kind of done fighting with myself with my own brain my own mind i chose to um end things and then immediately the next day i called up um, my insurance and made an appointment with a therapist i basically made an appointment after this because i knew that there was something going on in my mind that i wasn't in control of anymore and i i needed to gain control back on my thoughts. I didn't know whether I wanted the relationship. I didn't know what career path I was going on. I didn't know how I felt about myself. I kind of just felt like I was routinely just like losing myself. Taking into account that I've gone through so many life changes in the past year and a half, um, it's definitely understandable as to why I feel so lost in this point in my life. I didn't need help with getting rid of these thoughts, which I didn't know in the beginning. I just needed help organizing my thoughts and organizing them into valid, reasonable thoughts and intrusive, irrational thoughts. And that's just something that I've now learned and that's not something that my therapist told me, but it's something that I've learned through going to therapy and, you know, kind of just being one-on-one -on -one with my with myself. Obviously, relationships aren't the only thing that is a struggle in my life but I mean in that moment and right now I guess that is the biggest part or the biggest struggle in my life along with everything else but I had felt like I need to see a therapist ever since probably 21 no honestly ever since I got out of a very toxic unhealthy very bad relationship and I honestly made an appointment to see a therapist only once before and it was when I was at the um, coming to the end of that relationship and I made an appointment but I was very 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 weak in that moment and I backed out I never went and um, they just kept calling me and I just didn't answer because I just couldn't tell anyone what I was going through I didn't want to I guess be honest with myself that I needed to get out of that relationship I didn't want anybody to know because I was embarrassed and I was disappointed in myself um, and I still felt that now but I felt like if I didn't face this honesty I wasn't gonna grow like I was just going to stay stagnant in the in whatever emotion or stage I am in 
in life, I was gonna stay in that stage forever. And I knew that I was really, really unhappy in it. So I knew that I, I had to like really break myself down to grow. I'm sorry if I go off a little, a little off track just because I don't want to script these videos out. They're very raw. Like I, I make like a list for myself, but I, I promise you guys this is how it goes. I start and I'm like, cool. And I never look at it ever again for the entire video, probably until the end. And I'm like, yeah, I went off the rocker. The first therapist appointment, it, it wasn't talking to a therapist. I was actually talking to an intake specialist who intakes all of your symptoms. Like, have you ever physically hurt yourself? Have you ever physically hurt anybody else? Those kind of things and decides on what kind of treatment you think is best for yourself and what they think is best for you. And then after that, you start having um, monthly or weekly sessions with your therapist that will stay the same. Although he was an intake specialist, he was also, it was basically like a therapy session. I want to disclaim that I have only been to therapy twice. Since he is an intake specialist, he was asking me questions about my childhood, questions about um, my relationships and what brought me in originally. And I told him the reason I made the therapist appointment was because I had broken up with a boyfriend that was really good to me, but I just, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I just didn't want to be with them or I just wanted to be alone. I told him that I, I felt this way and he was like, well, why do you feel this way? And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't feel like I'm spending enough time with myself or I feel like I'm losing myself. And he was like, then spend more time with yourself. And I was like, I feel like incomplete or something. And he was like, well, let's ask you this. Do you feel sure about the career you have right now? Do you know what you truly want to be? And then I was like, whoa, actually not at all. Like I, you guys, I know that I want to help people. And I've said that for so many years, ever since I started school and I was gonna be a social worker, but then ended up being um, a, psych a psych major and went into that. And then now I'm a video editor in downtown LA and still make YouTube videos, but I truly don't know what I wanna do at the end of it. I just, there's so many doors and so many opportunities that I can't chisel, chisel it down to one thing. I truly believe that I'm meant to do so many things in one lifetime that I can't narrow it down to one thing. And I don't think that's fair. So um, I basically explained that to him. I said, I don't know what I really want to be or what I want to do. He's like, then that's your problem. That's the thing that is traveling to other areas of your life which like totally triggered me and totally gave me the chills because I was like, you're right. I feel lost in my career and I guess confused, a little sporadic and unorganized in my career and that is leaking into all of my other areas of life. And he was like, that's why you feel so lost because you don't really know what you wanna do in your life. So why would you know who you wanna be with? And I was just like, wow, you fucking, you hit a switch, man. And I did think that my career affected my relationships and my relationships affected my career, but I never thought that it was because I didn't know what I wanted to do for my career. And I didn't have one straight up thing. That's why when people would ask me when I was dating them, like, what do you do? I'm like, I make YouTube videos. I'm a content creator. I'm a personality. Uh, I'm a social media influencer. What am I? You're having all these doubts and insecurities in your career that that's gonna carry on into your relationships. And that's what I realized. And I was like, wow, you're so right. So I guess what that means is I need to really find out more about myself and keep learning about myself and find out why I feel this way. As I, I feel more sure about my career, I will be more sure about my relationship and and find out if I really do wanna be with this person or if that was the really root of the issue 
um, of why I was having doubts in my relationship. So I walked away from that felt, feeling really, really, really good and really just like excited about the next step because because it was exciting to like get clarity and shift thoughts into my brain as to where they should be going. I felt really like clear in my head and um, and then I just continued living my life in that relationship. Like a month passed by, a couple months. And after that uh, intake session, I set up an appointment for November um, or actually October. October something, it was like a month later, a month and a half later um, with an actual therapist that I was going to start and end with for who knows how long, but I was gonna meet my like actual therapist. I took that time in between the sessions to, I guess, try to be happier and try to be more content with my life and not freak out at every second just because I don't know what I'm doing kind of thing. Um, because it's okay to not know sometimes, but it, it is good to try to plan it out. And I guess that's what I was trying to do. I was just planning out, uh, trying to pan, plan out my life, my relationship. It was going really good. I had these thoughts here and there. I was living my life trying to find hobbies to, I guess, give me some kind of pathway into finding out what my next move in my career was. So I started doing more thrift with me videos and more life updates and talking to you guys more because I knew that that was when I felt the most happiest, the most happiest, the happiest. So I did that and I incorporated the two. I took my relationship into my career, I guess, it gave me peace of mind to try this and give it my all and be vulnerable and um, do it all. And so that's what I did. I, I filmed more and I picked up skateboarding. Um, I was getting really excited about life. We were planning to move in together as you guys seen. Um, and then my second therapy session came up and Oh, this is the first time I'm talking about this on camera after everything. Oh, okay. I guess it's just really straining because it's just like so personal and like everything that my life is. So it's hard, um, but I want to share it. So after they bulldoze the whole entire street. So right before my second or very first appointment with the therapist, um, I was having these really like, I guess intrusive thoughts again. And I had talked to maybe one friend about it, but I just couldn't lie to myself. And I knew what the feelings were. They were those bad feelings that I've had before, where it was like, you don't wanna be with them. You wanna be alone, be alone, be alone. Stop lying to yourself. And it was just like heartbreaking because it's just like these emotions and you're just like, where the fuck is this coming from? Is this me? Is this like my my conscience am i fucked up like what is going on like i'm happy what's going on there's no problems there's no issues i couldn't shake these feelings off and it was just something that i i was thinking about constantly every single day i woke up so anxious because i was just like thinking of this constantly i couldn't work i couldn't think i couldn't fucking focus and obviously that affected my relationship because that's what the root of the problem was, come to find out. I just thought to myself, you know what, just wait until you go see a therapist. Like it's gonna be like in a week or a couple days or whatever. And then you can talk to them about it and you'll find out whether these are irrational thoughts or super valid thoughts and you need to make a decision either way. Like you need to fucking find out. And so I went and I talked to my therapist. She got to know me a lot and um i basically just told her well my biggest issue right now is uh i guess like my curiosity about being single i just can't shake it i can't shake the the fact that i really crave to be alone and she was like why is this and i was just like i just feel like my life isn't what it's supposed to be right now i feel like I have so much more to do that requires me to not be in a committed relationship right now. 
and you know I told her more things that I won't share but just very personal things that I think are a problem to have in a relationship so I spoke with her and she didn't she didn't say that anything was wrong with me she didn't say I had anything she didn't say that anything was wrong she said that I had the right to feel those feelings and there was a reason for it sitting there and and just being like come on tell me something's wrong with me tell me why am I not happy with someone that is amazing to me I guess walking away from that I felt really heartbroken and disappointed in myself not disappointed just like kind of like owning up to the truth and knowing that nothing was wrong with me all along I mean I still have a lot of issues like anger and trust and all of that that I still need to figure out and I will continue to see the therapist to figure that those things out but nothing was wrong with me and the fact that my feelings were valid my intuition was telling me something and I wasn't listening and I was continuing to stay in the relationship when I knew in myself that I wasn't ready for one and um, and finally I have made the decision to end the relationship completely I need to listen to myself and I need to listen to my intuition I do believe that every single person you meet you meet for a reason that's just a choice that I felt for a very long time and I am finally owning up to that and I am so hurt from myself because I did this to myself and I put myself in this situation but this is the lovely thing about life is that you can always get yourself out and it's it's hurtful it's painful and it hurts people sometimes it hurts you but I promise you being honest with yourself nothing beats that and finding out more about yourself and constantly learning growing failing honestly therapy has above all opened my eyes and there's a lot of stuff happening in our in and around us and we need to deal with those things because we can pick up a hobby we can go work out we can eat the healthiest food but if you don't deal with the stuff that you feel in your heart and within your soul none of that matters and that's what i found out um, about myself and i'm really glad i found out this about myself and I will continue to um, grow and and listen to my intuition because more women and more, more people in general just need to do that yeah I really urge you guys to go see a therapist go talk to someone go talk to a professional I promise you they know what the fuck they're doing the first one you meet isn't good for you try out another one do not give up it requires a lot of vulnerability but I promise it's so worth it. I'm super grateful for having you guys to listen and I can't wait to see the comments on this and I hope you guys just do what you are meant to do in this life because we only live one. Um, and I wanna see you guys all conquer your biggest fears and your biggest issues. So thank you so much for watching. I love to see that we've grown over 50,000 subscribers now and I'm just so excited to see what's what's to come thank you guys so much for watching i love you